What's up guys, Zach and Ashley Scott here playing Dead Space 3 and I've acquired some optional missions that I'm going to go do and uh, this is going to lead me back out this way. So this is either going to be good or bad. But I, uh, maybe, maybe good. Maybe bad. Maybe both. Maybe good and bad. Bad meaning good. No, no sorry. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's open. There we go. We're going to go back this way through dog territory. Hope it doesn't make me fight some more. And you know, I'm going way back, uh, apparently, just to, to do this optional mission. Hopefully not too far back though, because I do... This is the way, right? There we go. This is the way, baby. So how are you liking this game so far, Ashley? Oh, it's already almost halfway, or it's a little over halfway done, and it's a good game still. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. All right. Man, it is definitely taking me back. I, I must have had a previous optional mission that I totally forgot about. For better or worse. One mind, one body. Oh shit. You fucking see that? Yeah. You done here? Huh. Let me go ahead and make sure this place is safe before we just start dropping bots willy nilly. Whoa, what's this bad boy? Full zoom scope. And there's so much stuff I'm not even using. Right there is a good place for a bot. One mind, one body. That's something you always say, Ashley. <laughs> the problem with uh, homogenous groups, i.e. one mind, one body, is they have trouble dealing with uh, new situations, new threats, in novel ways. So, like, a homogenous species is not going to be able to uh, necessarily survive a new threat because they've adapted a very certain way and and without variety within that species, it's likely to die out. Speaking so, of, okay. that's a problem with both collectives and the idea of, of everybody thinking the same and being the same. So, so speaking of novel new ways, what is your favorite novel? Um, House of Leaves. House, that, that novel is scary. How do you know? Well, you told me. <laughs> I know you didn't read it. Of course not. It was. Did you see how many pages were in there? Of course you did. You read it. <laughs> I'm on book four of uh, the Game of Thrones series. I'm on season. I'm at the end. I just finished season two of Game of Thrones. You don't say. Season three is starting up. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, me too. This will be a good one. Another good place for a bot. How do you know it'll be good? What if they what if they change all the actors? From oh. the trailer I saw, it doesn't <laughs> look like they've changed any of the actors. Oh, okay, good. I always find that really jarring. I have a hard time. I have a hard time getting over that when they change characters. Oh fucking shit! You fucking see that? I used a torque bar and some creatures jumped out at me. They're starting to break that wall of, you know, like, hey, this is safe. And those quickies. Look, I thought this was going to be a safe little area, and then something just jumps out at me as soon as I trigger it. Soon I'm going to walk into one of these, and it's going to be full of creepy crawlies. Yeah. It's just an opinion, not a fact. Well, you shouldn't let yourself feel safe anywhere. 
Mine. I don't usually in real life, but video games is kind of like a safety escape. So. In survival horrors, so that you'd um, see if if you're in a constant state of uh, high alertness and fear, like I said previously, you get numb to it. Yeah. So having these lulls is what brings you back down to a sense of almost peace. Yeah. Which allows you to, to have the adrenaline rush again the next time it scares you. So it, it's not in their favor for them to have no spots like that. But it's, it, it, is, uh, it is to have spots like that. Sometimes not be what they appear to be to jog your adrenaline. True. I'm on some sort of optional mission. Oh, this is a this is a thing. Am I doing the optional mission right now? Let me just be sure, because this looks like a place where I am doing the optional mission. Okay, cool. I think, right? That was the optional mission tab. Yes, cool. So it looks like I've maybe been here before. It looks like I'm definitely taking a step out out of the way. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh, hold up. What is this all about? It looks like that'll pass through perfectly. Complete. I've already done that. I think I've been here. Of course, I can never tell if they're reusing scenes or what. I didn't remember this. That one area from before. Hopefully, I'm not going too far back. I don't think I have an ID. Hey, Carver, I'm in the barracks of the 163rd. I bet they had access to some pretty cool toys. I'm gonna take a look around. Let's take a look around. Actually, don't make fun of him. <laughs> Text log found. If it's bunk space you're worried about, you won't have to worry for much longer. I'm taking half of them down bunk with space. me. Yes, I'm taking half of them down with me to the planet once we get ourselves dug in. As far as as far as far manners go, I didn't pick them because they play nice with others. There's a reason they call the 163rd the Reapers. These guys all cut their teeth out doing wet work for us during successional riots wet on work Earth. Wet is uh, assassinations, by the way. What? Wet work is assassinations. Oh, okay. They're the coldest bunch of killers you, you'll, you're, you're ever going to find. And they're my insurance that nothing's going to go wrong. Another message here. Would you mind telling me why I have to double bunk half the officers on my ship so you can house your freeloading 163rd? They're rude and they don't do a single useful thing aboard my ship. Why are we wasting resources on the frivolous addition to the mission? Now you know. Now you know. It's locked. Would you like to know more? I would not. I'm happy. Oh. Christ. Somebody got chop happy. There are separate heads everywhere. Chop, chop, sure chop and at me. If the bodies are still here, so is their stash of weapons. This is too good to pass up. Are these two suit kiosks? Alright. Another text lock. Man, I'm gonna go find and it. And Getting ahead of the game. All right. I did anything I could to get put on this mission to go to this frozen wasteland so I could follow the Reapers. It was my chance to get them to notice, and I wasn't going to let anyone stop me. After Private Freeman went missing, I became the new water boy. I scrubbed Reaper toilets, made Reaper beds, and cleaned Reaper guns, admiring the notches carved in the stick stocks of each beautiful weapon. I finally worked up the nerve to ask one of the Reapers if I could join their team. I was ruthless. I was determined. I was ready. He laughed at me, just like my drill sergeant back at boot camp. Then he said I could if I could join if I cleaned the toilets for a week with my base hands with no shower privileges in between. He said if I could do that, I'd have what it takes. What could I do? It was my dream. And he promised. So I did. Promises, promises. They're not going to let water boys on their team. Oh, God. These guys. Dead, maybe? Get another freaking text log. Wait. Excuse me, we're trying to read here. Seriously. Rude. This must be an educational game. 
See, that must be one of the ones. Is he third? Whatever the number. Great right, Reapers. We got a head here. I just saw a head. I hate all these noises. Alright, is this a safe place to read? The Axis of Evil. God damn it. I thought I heard something. There's a guy out there. Maybe I'll. Uh, I want to read. Maybe we'll get in the corner over here. Here we go. Time to read. Nope. <laughs> All right. So there I was a week later, caked in human excrement, my skin broken out with sores. I had gone the extra mile. I was ready. I guess I should have seen it coming. They took my picture and sent it, sent it out to everyone to see. They told me the only way I'd become a reaper is if every last one of them miraculously died and I was the only one left who could take their place. They, then they sent me packing. I got demoted to working in the pits. I credit my determination and strong work, work ethic for not giving up. In the dead of the night, I returned to their barracks and went to their beds, silent and discreet. With a firm, swift stroke, their heads rolled away one at a time. One, two, I counted as I cleaved. Three, four, scratching the notches into my axe. Five, six, they couldn't refuse me now. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen heads later, and I'm the 163rd, the most feared unit in the scaf. I am the Reaper. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that's pretty crazy. Bravo. As if every last one of them miraculously died. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas well, miracle. Hey, they promised him. sort of hate this this part it's all shaky but frankly guys with guns don't scare me as much as like freaky like janky creatures just like moving out at me like lightning speed. But those guys are pretty scary yeah I'm gonna call them quickies scavenger bot went quickies <laughs> hope there's not a Winston version of those Winston quickies would be bad which button do I use for this again? Is it C? It is C. Great. Recharge. I'm gonna try this again. Oh shit! C! Okay. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Alright, I'll wait for this to recharge. Come on. Give me one more. Give me, give me more. Give me more. Give me, give me more. There we go. Leave him alone. <laughs> All right, what is this? Sorry, no stasis recharge. All right, I'm just having fun, chilling out here. Oh wait, there's something here I almost forgot. Damage support. That was scary. Are you scared, Ashley? Nope. Scavenger bots are all here. Two plus damage. I am getting a quite the deal. I'll admit that. These optional missions are fun. Late, like the last optional mission I was on was really relaxed. And so like, that's kind of why I like them now. It's like, oh, no, 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 don't go. Yeah, there you go, go back up. Like even that didn't really scare me. Look at those white guys. Don't trust Whitey. Certainly not. All right, let's take a quick looky look. No, God, no, go back up. 
There you go. Another mistake I made. Just had to see what it was. That's weird. And scary. Don't you go I should show I should go check this out. What is in here? Button. Okay. Lots of notches on the wall. I'm glad that guy made it into the Reapers, though. That's dedication. No, leave him alone! kind of rocking it with this little like beginner's gun mm -hmm. <laughs> we got an artifact an artifact here let's take a look private myers appealed to join the 163rd when i look out across the yard i see only weakness the war with the se secessionists has claimed our fiercest warriors and replaced them with children half of these pricks can't couldn't, can't hold a rifle and the rest piss their pants the moment they hear one go off if you want to make it in this world, not only do you have to be willing to kill, you have to like it. Private Myers is a tool, so it's only fitting we use him as one. Let's give him one week of solid abuse before we kick him out the door. Maybe then he'll wise up and realize he'll never have what it takes to be one of us. Ha. Huh. Shows him. It'd be really fun to write, like, a side story for, like, a game. Like, just so you have, like, your mark, but you're not, like, totally involved with, like, the full story. Fanfic? Not, not like a fan, like like this. Like so, I bet it's almost like someone wrote this part, you know. And it it's almost been. as if someone wrote it. It's almost like well, anyone could have wrote it. Is what I mean. Like any, like it doesn't even have to be one of the main writers. They mm. could have just been like, hey, we have this little side story, where you know we're gonna Isaac's gonna go investigate the one sixty third. Do you want to like write up some text and come up with a little cool little story for us? Yeah. And then I could be like, yeah, I'll do that, and it would take like what a day. <laughs> Is the one sixty third? They're not with the sovereign colonies, right? I'm really confused. I don't know. What's this? Blueprints? Anything new here? What's... Shocker. Yeah, the politics of this world is kind of weird to me. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Go back. Again, let me know in the comments below if there's anything like really cool I need to know about. Like, uh... Like anything really, uh, like a ripper. I'm really looking forward to some sort of a ripper blade. Can I just walk through this? What's the deal? Yep. <laughs> What's making the text? Oh. You are a machine. You follow orders. You follow orders. You but watch that, it'll brainwash you. Yeah, I don't want to see yeah, that. Again, they're using friggin' film reels. Why would they use film reels? I don't know. Maybe it's the hypnotic effect they have. The clicking, the flickering. Your mind is calm. Your mind is calm. But they weren't using it just for that. They were using it in other places. Yeah. I need a body to throw in here. That. Oh, this is my cache of items. Whoa. These guys are ready to take on an entire army. Isaac, please tell me you're getting out of there now. Yeah. I'll see if I can find my way back up. I guess it is the uh, sovereign colonies. Yeah, uh, let me go back really quick. 
I drop a few of my med kits. Hopefully that's enough. When you're done, you will kill yourself. What happened to the subtitles? Uh, I probably just didn't want to put them up there the whole time. I did get a lot of stuff though. Get out of here, just... Where is he? Oh, there he is. There should be a way to patch up, like, vents and stuff. Like, maybe you could, like, actually use resources to patch up vents. Oh. Repairing? What? Repairing? No, like you know, you know the vents they pop out of. Oh, to patch the the vents. Yeah, I mean that'd be kind of cool, right? Like if you just there's a vent there and you're like, ah, oh, maybe I want to go and spend some money or resources or whatever yeah. to prevent something from popping out of there. It doesn't really make sense so, since this is a linear game and you you don't go back to most of the areas. No, but like you're there and you know that something like there's gonna be an event and you're like, oh, to prevent them from coming out. Or, like, to booby trap them. Let's say you could buy, like, some booby traps for Vince. And, like, you, you place them and maybe something jumps out, maybe something doesn't. But, you know, at least you have, like, the, you know, the option to kind of go in. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, I gotta do this one quick. Damn it. Try again. It's the first time I failed this game. It's, it runs down quick. Ah, damn it, really? Alright, let's try third time to charm, maybe. There's one. There we go. Got it. Well, why does it want me to go this way? Treasure room. See, I swear to God, I've been here. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. They're just like all casually, just like, oh, oh. See ya. Okay, we'll leave if you want to leave. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no, 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 I know what I need to do. Heal. There we go. All right. And out this way, hopefully. And we still got another optional mission. Hey. Well, I can pick up those heads. And I guess we're out of here now, right? We're good. We're good. Oh, let's go to the bench. No, there's no bench over here. Never mind. Let's uh, let's go out. Well, that looks like the completion of that optional mission, I believe. And we got another optional mission left. But I did get a lot of stuff. So hopefully, I can make use of it. Let me know in the comments below, like what I should be doing as far as upgrades go, because I could really use some more stuff. I really need to stay on top of my game. I'm doing pretty good, I believe, but I I really feel that I need. You know, to up my A game a little bit. Let's go here really quick. Drop off some stuff. There we go. There we go. Nice. Jesus. Okay, let's go back. I'm not even going to worry about it right now. I got a lot of stuff. That's all you need to know. All right. Nope. There we go. Number two. Something over here? I think I've been here before. It's so weird and a little bit unsettling how some of these become unlocked more and more as I progress. Whoa. 
I swear I've been, I've been in this building. Yeah. You came in here to get a piece of that ice. That's true. Gonna drop off a bot over here. And I do have another optional mission left that we'll probably tackle next time. Let's take a look at the optional mission lists. Should do them all. Uh, but no, I, I know. That's my, that's my plan. Where's your girlfriend? Yeah, I don't know. Or over mine? I don't know. Hopefully we're going out. And this is about where we started. Or, this is like where we started the other... <laughs> like an episode ago. That's crazy. Let's see. Right there is another place for a bot. Boom. These guys always move when I walk in here. It's super creepy. Go this way. I hear a bunch of noises. It's kind of getting back up to my area here. But they didn't say anything to me about it, and I don't even know if it saved my state yet. But I did complete the 163rd mission, so. So that's good for me. Good for me. I did it. Anything of events I need to check out before we go? Nope. Alright guys, well thanks so much for watching. We played Dead Space 3 and thanks Ashley for joining us. Sure. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you gotta do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.